Andor season two has been delayed again. After having to pause production in the summer for the actors and writers strike going on in Hollywood, we knew the delays for Andor were on the way. However, we didn't know that they would be this long. That's what she said. <laughs> With the highly anticipated second season, as many fans believe that we could be seeing some more familiar faces like K2SO or Vader or Krennic or even Chopper and Hera Syndulla or possibly even Leia Organa. How long are we going to have to wait for this show? Well, stick around till the end of this video to see just how bad this delay really is. And we're going to speculate about everything we think we know is going down in this second season of Andor. So smash a like on this video and let's break this all down. Andor season two was originally supposed to be released in August of 2024. And the filming for this season was supposed to end over the summer. However, unless you've been living under a rock for the last eight months, then you know that there has been a writer's and actor's strike in Hollywood, leading to the production of almost every movie and show to be put on pause as the actors and writers renegotiate their contracts with the Hollywood studios. This strike went on for over 150 days, leading to massive delays for movies and shows all over Hollywood. From Disney to Warner Brothers to Sony to all other major studios, there has been delays. And Star Wars is involved in all of this in a big way too. Skeleton Crew was supposed to be the next Star Wars show. We were supposed to be watching it right now. It was supposed to release in November of 2023. However, as you can tell, we are not watching that show right now, so that has been delayed into 2024. And now, Andor has been delayed as well. But this seems to be a way bigger deal because most fans didn't even know what the skeleton crew was and didn't know what to expect or get excited about. But when it comes to Andor, the people who watched the first season absolutely love it and can't wait for this second season. Many fans even call the first season of Andor the best Star Wars Disney Plus show. Now myself personally don't think that's the case, but I do see the argument. Now, like I said before, Andor Season 2 was supposed to be released in August of next year, and now it has been delayed at least till 2025. The most recent reports are saying early 2025, but that could mean anywhere from January to May, which could make this a 5 to 10 month delay. Now, the reason that this is such a huge deal and this show really needed to be delayed is because this second season of Andor is going to be way bigger than the first. Because that first season only covered about one year in the Star Wars timeline. The second season is going to cover four. And the very last episode of this season is going to lead us right into Rogue One, which of course is the movie where Cassian Andor, the main character of the show, Andor, meets his demise. This second season will also follow the three episode arc like the first one did, but this time each arc is going to be a new year in the timeline. And this opens up the possibility to see major events between the Rising Rebellion and the All-Powerful Empire. And where there's big wars between the Rebellion and the Empire, there's extremely important characters. On the Imperial side, we could be seeing Krennic, Tarkin, Thrawn, or even Darth Vader. And for the Rebels, we could be seeing K2SO, the Rebels cast with Harrison Dula and Chopper, or even the adopted father-daughter duo of Bail Organa and Leia Organa. I have no doubt in my mind that this second season is going to be way bigger in scope than its predecessor, and this will give us some incredible storytelling and action sequences just like the first season did. Now, some set photos have been leaked and have revealed to us that Yavin 4 will play a part in this second season. Yavin is, of course, the rebel base that we see in A New Hope and in Rogue One, and like I said before, will allow us to see those rebels' characters like Hera and Chopper, because in Rogue One, we see the ghost and Chopper on Yavin 4. So really, the possibilities are endless when it comes to this second season of Andor, and I think it's going to be way bigger and more important to the Star Wars timeline than the first season was. However, we're just going to have to wait a little bit longer until 2025 to see this show. But tell me in the comments what you think about these delays, and... 
Who do you think could show up in a second season of Andor? Vader, Leia, the Rebels crew, Thrawn, or someone else? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Smash a like on this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We go live on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And this Saturday is the last giveaway of the holiday season. So don't miss out on your chance to win a present before Christmas. And if you want more, go check out this video I just did all about hating Christensen saying he wants to do more Anakin in Star Wars.